setting up a Mason Bee House requires only a few steps and a few minutes of your time. However, the positive long-term impact that your Mason Bee House will have on your garden and in your neighborhood will be immeasurable. In this video, I'll show you the basic steps of setting up a Mason Bee House. Welcome to Nature Yard Life. A mason bee house is a simple structure that holds either trays, pre-made tubes, or has cavities cut directly into them. They can be purchased at a store, or you can make one at home. There are endless designs and materials to choose from, but the important thing is that the tubes or cavities are made to the correct length and diameter. The ideal length is anywhere between 4 to 6 inches, with a diameter of around 5 sixteenths. One end of the tube or cavity should be sealed off to prevent parasites from entering. The best time to set up a mason bee house is just before you decide to put out your cocoons. This is usually around the beginning of spring, in March or April, depending on your location. Ultimately, it depends more on the weather than anything else. Mason bees will begin to hatch when the daily temperature is consistently above 55 degrees Fahrenheit or 13 degrees Celsius. And there needs to be some early blooming flowers available for the bees to get some food. There is always the risk of late season frost that can severely hamper their ability to feed themselves, even leading to their untimely deaths. One strategy used to hedge against this unpredictable situation is to release your cocoons in two phases, keeping one group in a cooled environment, such as the fridge, when the other group is being released. A cooled group can then be released several days or even weeks later. To set up your mason bee house, find a location that is preferably in a sheltered area, facing in an eastern or southeastern direction. The bees require the morning sun to warm up their bodies before they can begin to fly. There is no perfect height, but anywhere between 5 to 10 feet will work just fine. I'll be attaching this one to my grapevine trellis with a couple of screws. I like to line my tubes with paper, so I can reuse the tubes each year, and I also find that it makes the harvesting process a lot easier. You can watch my video on preparing mason bee tubes if you want to see how I do it in more detail. Now, I'm just going to fill this house with as many tubes as I can. I'm using jar lids as simple trays to insert the cocoons into the hatching area. These jar lids will also help prevent the cocoons from being blown out if there is any windy weather. They go in this little slot just below the tube area. We're all set and ready to go. Now we can check in daily to watch as the bees begin to hatch and go about their daily routines. Well folks, I hope you've enjoyed the video and you give our little friends a chance in your gardens. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.